What's up, guys? Welcome to another local band smokeout. I'm your host, is higher than most BG. I'm with my man, Mr. Burn, aka Burn Like Stars Forever. And we have hello, the hello. honor today oh. to talk to Diamonds to <laughs> Dust. Man, we are huge fans of you guys. How are you doing today? Well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having us. Uh, I'm pretty good. I'm doing good. If you guys could, could you uh, say your name and what you do in the band real quick? I am Christian Roach. I am the vocalist of the band. Um, um, Brandon Whitaker. I play bass and do clean vocals. I'm also Brandon. <laughs> I do the shreds. Double Bs. Hell yeah. And you guys are from Poughkeepsie, New York. I've gotten a couple submissions from, from Poughkeepsie. There's a dope little metal scene over there. Yeah, we've got we've got a lot going on, but uh, you know nobody comes to the shows even still. <laughs> they will soon. Amen. They will soon. People are people are like itching to get back into shows right now. I feel like. Yeah, so. yeah, we are for sure. Our first shows in Allentown, the thirty first of this month. So we're definitely looking forward to it. Hell yeah! Is it Allentown? Yep, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Oh fuck! Yeah, it's, a, it's what a, a drive, bud. Who are you guys playing that one with? Uh, we're playing it with the Bunny the Bear. Uh, nice. Forget the other bands. Uh, they they were kind of thrown on a little bit after I checked, but uh. And that's your first ever show in a band, or you've played before COVID? Oh, I played before COVID. Yeah. Okay, so you've all uh, my first show was maybe again in no, it was at Reverb in Pennsylvania. I wasn't even at home. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Bunny the Bear off the rip. What a show. Um, yeah. And while then, we're while we're doing the interview, if you guys are watching, please go to facebook.com slash diamonds to dust one, like their page, support them, and uh, tell a friend about them. I guess me and Lloyd are just kind of, we've never actually done an interview with me and Lloyd. Usually it's just me doing this portion, so we're trying something different. So I guess we'll kind of just go back and forth on some of the questions we've written down. But I set this up so I get to fucking be here. Why don't you start <laughs> it off? Why don't you start it off, Lloyd? What, I start it off? All right. Who... Is everyone's music influences going from stage left to right? What got you into your instrument and why? Uh, well, uh, I actually was a drummer, but Melvin's got that part now, and I grew up with Melvin, so they needed a bassist, and they're like, "Well, do you want to play bass? We'll take you in." Fair but, enough. Uh, my metal influences got to be like uh, August Burns Red, the Amity Affliction, We Came as Romans, bands like that. So did okay. you learn, you actually learn how to ba play bass really quick just to stay in the band? Uh, yeah. yeah. That is crazy. Good I'm for still, you. I'm still learning. I still have a lot of work to do, but Good I'm for trying you, to, dude. to keep up. It, it's difficult. You're a quick learner. You never stop learning, baby. <laughs> All right, Christian. All right, uh, my biggest influences would be Suicide Silence, uh, Whitechapel, uh, Shoot, uh, as Blood Runs Black, Carnifex. Uh... My dude is heavy. Definitely. Give me yeah. a soft band. What's the softest band you like? Because you just named a bunch of heavies. The band I like, believe it or not, is Sleeping of Sirens. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, okay. you, know, um, you know, I could even go softer, Paramore. Cool. Cool. I like them both. I actually went to Mitch Lucker's <laughs> tribute Paramore's show after he passed, and they had like a different vocalist every single song. Where the rest of, of the rest of Suicide Silence played? Oh, Chapel, man. I saw that unanswered cover by Phil Bozeman, and I was completely blown away. He totally inspired me to, you know, do vocals. Yeah, it was it definitely a live scene as well. Yeah. You know, I saw him up on stage. I was like, that's that's got to be me. He's killer. What All about right, yourself, Brandon? Uh, Brandon? Uh, to be concise, I guess, and short with it, um, I started playing guitar um seriously when i was around like 16 or 17 and i was really into stuff like um pantera got me really into it like dimebag daryl and stuff like that um well oh, you in old school stuff that like got me into like the style i play right now um like necrophagist and uh i was really into like the virtuoso guys like um sean lane you know jason becker all the shred dudes um but yeah, I'm into like, a, I make a lot of different kinds of music. 
Um, I more so make metal now than listen to it because I went through such a long phase of listening to pretty much nothing but metal. So now I got yeah, a a lot of weird stuff now. Like <laughs> that's cool. So, it's just the metal in a positive way. You know, oh, definitely. you got an old soul in you there. I can tell you got the old school vibes that brought you here. I like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the new school as well. Too. I listen to a lot of modern rap as well as old school rap. Rap's huge for me. Rap's a good Same. one. Who's some, who are some of your favorite rappers? Ooh. Some of my favorite rappers. Um, going from like the old school, Tupac is definitely like. A, Woo! like there you go. Um, as far as modern stuff, like Bones is huge for me. I dig Bones a lot. And then all of Sesh Hollow Waterboy, so Xavier Wolf. I don't know if you guys know them or whatever, but I've heard these names. I've heard Xavier Wolf. I know the other ones. Yeah, the new underground. Like, I mean, I like Ghost Man. He's pretty. I wouldn't say he's an influence because I rap as well. Um, but you got rap stuff, songs out? Sorry. You got any rap songs out? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Check oh, them we out. should play them. We should play them. Soundcloud.com slash Z Block the Meme God. Would you ever? Would you ever link. bust a rap in a Diamonds to Dust song? Like, mm. on, just like. I don't know for if you could find a way to work it in there somehow. I I mean I will for it. Me and Barry have talked about it because me and Barry Barry raps as well, and uh, we have two uh, singles coming out. We were gonna make it a full project, but um, we thought we felt that the two singles were really solid, and we wanted to like really laser focus in on those, like put out you know cool. promotion for those and a video and stuff like that. So that'll be coming out soon. But you know then, you know what'd be like really I, sick I, is if if you guys were like playing a set. And it's a song that everybody knows, and then just like right, right before the breakdown comes in, you just do like a groovy part, and you just bust a rap real quick, and then Christian just comes up with the like out of nowhere <laughs> after it to go right back into it. And people be like, "What the? F yeah, that would be amazing. I would be all for it. Yeah, we're just throwing it out there. We're just throwing it out there. All right. Um, what was it like? What was it like working with Randy Pascarella? I I kind of went back and and listened to. A lot of your guys' old catalog, and I had it yesterday, Christian, and I noticed that there's so many different styles and vocal growth and changes. And it, but it seemed like Randy, well, you guys were working with him all the way back in 2014, so you kind of keep going back to him. Yeah, um, that's a question for Barry, actually. Uh, I didn't join the band until uh, late 2018, early 2019. Um, Barry can answer all those questions. He is the He's the guy who started it all. He started Diamonds to Dust, and I believe back in 2012. So the band's been around for quite a while. Um, yeah, I was part of like the first like real like live lineup and stuff like that. Well, I don't know if I'd say that. It's more of a thing for Barry to say. But in the early stages, I was there initially. That was around 2014. He had released the first album, and yeah, he's been working with Barry ever since then. And I guess their their synergy is just. You know, super on. Yeah, point. they're they're pretty tight. Once you go, Randy, you don't go back, or you just yeah, keep going. Sure. Back, whatever the saying is. Like he's like he's like a member of the band almost. Like, like he literally pushes us to to get everything 100. percent Like every time we go in there, if we screw up, he'll just go over and over and over again until we get it right. He's like, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he right. Play games, that's for sure. But he still makes it an entertaining and fun session. Say, hey, don't make any mistakes vocally, because he'll fucking play that shit over and over and laugh with everybody. I'm sure it's oh, happened to you. <laughs> I'm actually doing a music video for a cover that I'm doing tomorrow with him. He's uh, he's shooting the music video for me. So uh, wow, yes, very we're cool. We're doing that, and I can't wait for that to get yelled at. Can we? Can we right know house. what the cover is? Uh yeah, it's at, uh, an all-time love song. Ooh. Uh, monsters and I found a girl to do uh, the Demi Lovato part finally so she's gonna go in and record and that's like my radio gonna... my radio oh. jam like three that's months ago that cover. was like my yeah. jam right there especially when the Demi version came out I'm a big Demi fan oh, this girl's be cool. got a really good voice so she's gonna Who kill is this it girl? do we know her do we know her uh, probably not she's like a, a local girl from around the area that okay. just does like uh she got a really nice voice. I, I wish she would start making her own music, but like she just does like live shows and covers and stuff. Like maybe this is the push, you know? Yeah, cool. yeah, be the one. What you got, Lloyd? All right. Um, who is your musical crush? Could be male or female. Like, who is the front man or artist that you guys are just crushing on super hard? Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Okay. Didn't expect that. Phil Collins. Did not I love surprise, motherfucker. All right. All right. Uh, for 
me, it would definitely be no doubt Phil Bozeman. You say no doubt? Gwen Stefani, no doubt? No, no, no. He, he meant oh. without a doubt Phil Bozeman. Oh, without a doubt. Like, he, he didn't say it that way, but that's what he meant. Phil and that's what I meant. Yeah. Phil and Salmo. I would say, like, all the Phil's. I your would... film makes music, we're into you. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I mean, shoot. I would say if it was a, a female, it would definitely be um, the girl from Paramore. Um, Haley Williams. But if it was a male, like who got me into wanting to sing, is definitely Aaron Stringer from the the Amity Affliction. Ooh, very nice. You don't hear that too often. I once was at a bar in Orlando, and I had to have been 21, which probably would have made Haley like 16. And they played at this bar, and she got caught drinking after their set, and she oh. got they got thrown out. Oh yeah, we'll throw you out quick. This is like many that. years ago. Many years ago, like over 12. Um, How old are you? I'm kidding. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite kind of movies? Ooh. Funny. Yeah, Kevin Smith. Oh, Kevin hell, Smith yeah. movies? I pretty much, I, you know, I'm, I'm again, I'm easy to please. I, I can almost watch anything. I, I specifically, if I have the choice, horror and comedy, definitely. Yeah, me too. Horror and comedy. Yeah. yeah the, the wife likes more, like, rom-coms, so I end up watching those a lot, too. Action movies. I'm definitely more of like an action and war. It's like American Sniper, Saving Private Ryan, John okay. Wick. John Wick is my John favorite. Ryan. I love John Wick. Definitely have you seen movie. Have you seen Wrath of Man? Uh, no, not yet. Which one's that? It's Jason Statham's basically John Wick movie. It's pretty new. It's you'll love it. Did it just come out? Yeah, you'll love it. If you, yeah, if, yeah. it's nonstop it's action the whole time, the and he just kills like, he just kills everybody. Transporter movies. Oh, Transporter. Frank. Yeah. <laughs> Some good the Expendables. Well, they they should have stopped after the first one, but didn't they have in that movie? Yeah, they'll the probably have another one someday. Like, oh my gosh, yeah, that was a wild mashup. What about the Truman Show, you guys fuck with that? The Truman Show. Ah, uh, yeah, I love Truman Hell Show. Yeah. It's such a crazy Dude, concept. Like shit that makes you think. Fucking Donnie Darko and shit. Like, I think of, like well, Eternal Sunshine for the Spotless Mind. Minds. Uh, Altering movie. <laughs> oh, you, you want to hear about crazy? I binge watched all 15 seasons of Supernatural in like a month, like under a month. Wow. Dude, that's a lot. Of it took me a lot longer that's than commitment. that, but I, that's I can commitment. Tell you, that show gets you hooked in. Yeah, I, I've seen a couple episodes. I've never watched the entire. Thing. They're all an hour long. I watched 327 hours of Supernatural. Dude, that's <laughs> that's a lot. Are you sad, buddy? You just stayed inside that long? Were you going through something? Netflix just happy. gave you a free no, month after that. I wasn't doing anything. I watch it at work. Like I come home, just binge it before hockey practice, before band practice, like everything. Like, do you watch. play hockey, bud? What position? I'm a center. Cool. I was gonna say, don't fuck with him, bro. He's throwing you out of the way. So, <laughs> cross checking that ass. Yep. Uh, Lloyd, you're up. Okay. Um, if uh you guys weren't doing music, say it's just a normal Saturday, what would you guys be doing? Where would we find you guys on just like a normal non-music day? What would you be doing? An ice rink. <laughs> ice rink, so hockey practice, yeah. keeping it going. Uh, you definitely find me at a skate park, no doubt. Skateboarding. Oh, I've seen a couple of videos. Yeah, I've seen you boarding in some videos. Yeah, in the yeah. boots. Yeah, it's either in the boots or just getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Snapping his ankle in two a couple weeks ago or last week. Yeah, I saw, I saw a video like where it looked almost like you almost did. hurt yourself, and I was like, Jesus. Barry, kind of like, Barry just sent me a friend request. Is it the shoe? <laughs> Yes, these are the shoes. My shoes are. <laughs> Show me the shoe. Show me this. <laughs> All right. Oh, they talk. Cool. Yeah, they do. They talk. Oh, hey guys. Hold on, you guys. Lloyd, ask one more question. I'm gonna. Barry just sent me a friend request. I'm gonna send him the link right now. If I put the entire band in a UFC cage, who's coming out on top? Barry. <laughs> Barry. Uh, maybe Elvin. If you've um, ever seen Melvin Bosch, Mel Melvin can fight. Me dude, and, holy crap, man. Me and, Melvin, just, me and Melvin train MMA over the summer, and he can hit, like, hard. Yeah, like, dude, he, he almost killed me one day. We were at a show on, uh, uh, what was the local band? It was, you remember what There he is. He just spin, just that fast. Out, dude, he almost killed me. <laughs> Barry's that's hopping in right here. I, thought, I was going to say, I thought you would have been being the hockey player, because that's very physical, but I guess not. I mean... Barry's just like probably the big dog right now. Yeah, I, I would not fight Barry. Barry would rag. I don't think I'd miss with Barry. <laughs> Copy. Don't fuck with Barry. Got it. 
There oh, he is. Oh, hey. Give me a hell What's up, about sir? You? How are you today? Well, apparently, if I put the entire band in a UFC cage, you might be coming out on top under Melvin, or Melvin might be one of you two. <sighs> if I ever had to fight anyone, I'm going to have to be honest. Um, I'm in there to kill, so... <laughs> Don't fuck with Barry, yo! <laughs> like, if I have to fight, I, I'm going to just be real. I'm like, listen, I'm 32 years old. Uh, I cannot risk falling down, so... <laughs> you just pop, pop, pop. 31, <laughs> but I'm with you. I can't afford it either. <laughs> so, Barry, we asked we asked a question earlier, and they, they wanted us to wait until you hopped in. But, uh, sure. so, over the years, you've probably come pretty close to Randy. What's, what was it like yeah. going through all of the musical evolution of the band with every every time you go back and see Randy and it's different vocals, different lineups, like, and now into what it is current day? Uh, to be honest, like, whenever we write something new, like, each time we went in, it was just like, oh, my God, yo, this is the heaviest thing we've ever written. And... Every time we record something new, it's the same reaction. And then we look back and we're just like, damn, dude, we've been doing this for over 10 years now. And uh, uh, it just gets better each time. I'm but, jealous. I love it. Yeah. Most most bands, most bands get start heavy and then get softer. You guys are just getting heavier and heavier and heavier. So God bless you. God bless well, you. Well, the thing is, too, in my opinion, we didn't, uh, we kind of had to create what we had you know, well, I say it like this. Initially, when me and my brother started Dimes to Dust, we put out that song Ashes to Ashes, and it got really popular. So we were just like, all right, we're gonna quit our other band and just do this. That's like great. that's 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 the main main reason. And then, uh, you know, that's it just so took life of its own. Yeah. What'd you say, say it again, Chris? That was the song with Randy, right? You had Randy feature in that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Because literally, I wrote that song by accident. I was just like, hey, you know, I'm just playing around in guitar. And Melvin's just like, oh, you know, that sounds cool. You should record it. I'm just like, oh, sure. Why not? And then all of a sudden, everybody's like, dude, we love that song. I'm like, some of the best things that happen musically are accidents, man. It's crazy how that works. So before yeah. before Christian joined, did you did you guys plan on being that heavy? Or just when he auditioned, you were just like, holy moly, we got to be... We, we need him. Nah, Christian was like, write a deathcore song, and I was just like, okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and it just, yeah, yeah, it just yeah. sounded tight. <laughs> yeah, I heard you found him off a of Craigslist ad, and I'm like, fuck, I'm mad I missed that post. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I found these guys on a Craigslist ad. Do you recall what the uh, ad said? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, it was the opposite, got it. Barry, Melvin, and uh, we, we had a different guitarist at the time, um, and yeah, it, but went and auditioned. And thankfully, I got, you know, got the part. The got the Thank part. <laughs> it's like the best decision we ever made. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> I think you all complement each other just very well. So yeah. I think you all made the best decisions for each other. Definitely. I'll take that as an answer. You got another question? I got tons of questions. Yeah, I got, got lots. I got lots. Um, so I noticed that you guys had dropped three EPs in 2020, which is a lot of work like most people are lucky if they drop one a year uh can we expect new music soon or another maybe three song ep before the end of the year uh we're definitely working on an album right now don't have don't know when it will be released uh but christian goes in to do vocals when are we doing vocals friday friday so yeah, get it done now because randy's booked out until september uh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And, you know, we're going in there. We have a date in August to, you know, have Brandon, you know, put some, you know, six solos over some of the tracks that we got going. So Ooh, some it'll, it'll be an awesome album, in my opinion. You know, we'll oh. see what the. Oh, he I, he liked this one. You confident he's excited. with this one, huh? He's already juiced up. Mm -hmm. Not even the studio. He's already juiced up. I love Damn, it. Damn, you got me pumped already. <laughs> like, well, we're excited if you for it, too. Work, you know, how can you expect other people to, you know? Facts. Unless invest you... in yourself. Why is anyone else going to invest in you? I feel you. Exactly. So, why not? I, I noticed Christian has a Nintendo 64 shirt on. That tells me he's an OG gamer. Uh, Dude, I'm a classic gamer. I've got 
almost every console you can name except the really hard ones. I, I do. I collect. It's one of my hobbies, collecting classic games. I'm a big gamer. I've got, yeah, I've got pretty much everything. Do you do like game streaming or anything on the side? No, I don't have the personality for it. <laughs> I think you do. I think you do. But I think you sure. do too. It's coming out, bro. It's growing. I'm trying here. <laughs> Maybe someday. Barry, what about yourself? Are you a gamer? I used to be. I used to be a hardcore gamer. And, what, what was your game? And then Final Fantasy. Oh, Ooh. hell yeah. I still play Final, Final Fantasy 7 every now and then, just going back to yeah. it. I've been playing the new Final Fantasy 7. It's fantastic. I, I'm an Xbox guy, so I'm waiting for it to the Xbox version, if it ever will come out. Yeah, yeah. PC I, Master I, Race. Come out, uh, it was supposed to come out soon after the uh, PS4 one release, but I guess it never did. I think they were supposed to have a PC. Come out. I don't think there's an Xbox of the remake, but I could be no, wrong. There's not right now. I thought they, they were supposed to have one come out after the PS4 one, but they never did. How'd you guys, uh -huh. How did you guys uh, Look, come up with dude, the band name dude. back in... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Christian. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it, it's a great game. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> great series. How, how'd you, so 2012 is when the band actually first recording first here here we are jamming and then we got to come up with a band name how did you come up with the band name uh we needed something cool because uh <laughs> <laughs> the nothing the name no regrets was taken by like every band under the sun you know people are gonna um, spell it wrong half the time too <laughs> yeah it was like... no regrets <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know it's just uh I was just like, you know, we need something, a name that nobody has come up with. So I was just like, all right, you know, uh, I don't know. The, the the song Ashes to Ashes, which I, I did not write. I didn't write the lyrics to. Our original vocalist wrote it, and it expired the name Diamonds to Dust for whatever reason. I don't even know why. And then um, I brought it to the band, and they were just, I was just like, guys, what about Diamonds to Dust? That's no regrets is taken. And then everybody shut me down. They were like, no. And I was just like, well, we're diamonds to dust. End of story. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, no. Why even ask them? <laughs> well, it sounds the cool, so they were wrong. But I'm sorry, Brandon. So not to be confused with the movie Diamond to Dust. I keep forgetting there's a movie. I, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't think I've ever heard it or seen it. Yeah. There's yeah. a movie. Going to Google's Diamond to Dust movie. Indie movie. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I've never. I, we should watch it. We should get together and watch it. That would oh be interesting. Oh my god! <laughs> are I'm there? Are people the are people surprised it's take a when a while to get over here? Are people come on. are people surprised when they find out that you guys are a Christian band? Or do they kind yes, of already all know? Because I was band. I was personally from? surprised. You can't really tell like in the lyrics that. I mean, you can if you, if you, I guess if you sat there and read the lyrics, but when you initially first hear you guys on the new material, I didn't know right away. I was informed and I was like, oh man, this is awesome. It sounds it's probably the best Christian metal band I've heard in a long time. Um, but do you guys ever get that? Like, I can't believe you're a Christian band. Like, do, do you ever read comments like that or anything? Usually, yeah, because yeah. it's, uh, you know, the vocals are so heavy. It's hard to tell lyrically. Um, we do have some worship songs, but we, we do, you know, I when I write my lyrical stuff, it's generally like uh, either demon killing or in Corpus Christi, for instance, was uh, revelations. But more of my personal fantasy of it, I, I you know, I, I'm it's like manipulated lands no longer stand. That line, for instance, is just like referencing destroyed cities, which is just what I imagine when I hear the apocalypse or the end of the world. Makes so, sense. Fuck. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. For me. Uh... They're definitely surprised, you know. Um, you said, how did we start off as a Christian band? I think no, that I, I, I'm more of... Just where it came from, I guess, right? Well, uh, well, I've been a... Me and my brother have been a Christian all our all our lives for the most part. And so, like, when we, I guess, revamped the band in whatever year, I don't even remember, uh, we were just like, yo, we just want to be a Christian band. That's part of who we are. So if anybody joins the band, whether they're Christian or not, you know, is they have to understand that that aspect is part of the band so you know we accept everybody for who they are and everything like that you know we don't get on stage and preach and everything we're like all right well the vocals the music speaks for itself if you get it hoorah if you don't then 
Okay. So yeah. I got some Jew in me. Can I join the Christian man, even though I'm part Jew? <laughs> hey, man. <Sure. laughs> what did you say? I'm got he. I'm not even Fair enough. All right. So we're all accepted. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I can give my yeah. take as, like, a non-Christian member of the band. Like, we're really just, like, a hodgepodge of, you know, different beliefs and inspirations and influences, just like, you know, most bands. You know, that's how we just... We're a bunch of different minds who come together to make one thing. That's awesome. Bunch of you can respect fits, that. Yo. You can respect that for sure. Uh, Lloyd, what you got? I'll ask a fun one. If you guys were a Power Ranger, what color would you be? What color do you want to be? I'd be the White Ranger. White Ranger, <laughs> copy. <laughs> Tommy, He's right? Big, He's the man. He was awesome as the White Power Ranger. He was amazing. No okay. doubt. Just in terms of like drip, like which so it looks the coolest. I'm going. <laughs> yeah, what color you want? What would you want, Rock? I don't think they ever represented anything other than the animals, I guess. I always felt I like the white one was the strongest one, though. No. The green when the green one really became was. the white one, he became the strongest. I don't know. I'm 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 gonna stick with the black ranger because I always <laughs> want to see it. <laughs> was there a purple one? Oh. And like, was there ever a purple maybe. one? Was in one of them. I don't know. I I'll, I'll go with the green one. I'll go with the green one. I did. Too. I remember the ooze one. I'm thinking old school. <laughs> like, but yeah, I'm a nerd, by the way. I love anime, comic yep. books, all that stuff. So like, people will be like, "Really? You you like anime?" I'm like, "Yes, mother effer. Let's go." <laughs> Favorite anime. I am proud of it. Favorite anime. Favorite anime. Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, he wasn't even thinking. He knew right he away. Knew. He went, bam. Got it. One. How did you? What about you guys? You guys watch anime? Favorite cartoon? Joseph Hunstum. Say that again. I said I only like two animes, but Yu Yu Hakusho is is right there. Like that and Dragon Ball. Is, like of course Dragon Ball. Don't swim animes. Nice. How did you? How did you guys link up with Manifest Records? I own it. Perry oh. is Manifest right I get it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I added Perry a while ago when I found that out. We're friends on Facebook. And I just never I talked. I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that. Okay, so I'll, I'll throw a, a second question in then. Um, how did you start Manifest Records? And what's your favorite munchie meal uh, when you're just hungry? Not a, like a full, complete meal, just a little side munch. Um, Wings. Because, my favorite, uh, my favorite wing. Stereo black guy. And, <laughs> and uh, I started Manifest Records because um, I could not get a record deal to save my life. And the one time we almost did get one, uh, it did not go over well. So I was like, screw this. If nobody's going to sign us, I'm going to sign us. And to be honest, it was one of the, the best decisions of my life. You know, give or take. But uh, yeah, that that was the main reason. I was just like, I want to be on a record label. I want to get the notoriety, and that actually opened a lot of doors for me because I met other bands. We got on a bunch of different shows throughout the years. So, you know, my, cool. my label's on hiatus at the moment because you know, kind of broke. But yeah, COVID. Yeah, COVID did its thing. Yeah, and I was just like, broke. yeah, COVID. Uh, it messed up a lot of things. Can you tell the story of what went wrong in the the almost signing with a different label? Or is that, uh, or is that so can't talk about that? It was pretty much we were under the banner It's Never Tomorrow at the time and uh we played this Battle of the Band show. Uh we got gypped. We were supposed to win. We 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 got gypped one hundred percent. Um the guy who was supposed to sign us was a representative of Sony. And he just wanted so much out of us to change the style of music. He wanted us to do this. Um, our former vocalist at that time, rest in peace, he uh, would have had to quit everything that he was involved with. And at the time, I think I was 19, 18, 19. So everybody else was younger than that. So for and them it's hard to, to sign minors. Yeah, so we're just like, yeah, and then the guy was just, he was just an asshole. Yeah, right. you know, on top As of that. As usually are. Yeah, so I was just like, oh, well, if you don't do this, you're you're never going to make it in the industry. I'm like, word? All right, bet. Challenge accepted. Do it my fucking self! <laughs> Take matters in your own hands, damn it. Fernsey, what else, yep. what else you got for him? I only got one more left. 
Who I got a few. Who is your favorite local artist around your guys's area, which is you know New York? Mm. Poughkeepsie. <laughs> oh boy. I just like saying uh, that. Poughkeepsie. I don't know anybody. Yeah, I didn't say favorite band. I say favorite local. You gotta hit it. So uh-huh. local artist for me, uh, New York specifically, or can I branch anywhere out? in New York? It's gotta be locally in New York where you guys live. Be you. Oh, jeez. Uh-huh. Well, oh, you thought we were I'd playing? Have, I'd, I'd have to say Promises Unsaid, yeah. Say it again? Promises Unsaid. Promises unsaid. They're, uh, they're very good. More of like a post-hardcore metalcore type vibe. They're, the singer's incredible. He's a really great vocalist, great guy. Uh, yeah. They, they got to be my favorite locally, personally. Cool. I feel like we locally. might have played them before. Uh, that sounds vaguely familiar. Local band. Well, I'd say just because I grew up knowing this kid and I know he worked very hard. My buddy Chris is a rapper who's actually going to be on the cover I'm doing tomorrow. Uh, he goes by the name Lunar. He's got like thirty thousand followers on Instagram. He's been grinding. Like I've seen good. that name somewhere pop up. I know who you're talking about too. He's uh he's one of my closest friends growing up. He's uh he's really worked hard for it. So he's he's a rapper. So cool. I'd probably say Asuna, you know, just oh, yeah. because they have yeah, that. Good as well, yeah. As soon as yeah, good. They, as soon as they good. have that early 2000s, 2005, post-hardcore, metalcore vibe, you know. I grew up on that era, so, you know, Kill Switch from first to last, all that stuff, so. Uh, first to last. I would, have, I would have to say them. And then uh, we didn't hear uh, Brandon number two's answer. <laughs> uh... I'm not really a brand number two. <laughs> no, I uh, I don't know anybody. I need to look more into the local scene. Copy that. For sure. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, sorry. What was I going to... I had one right up here. All right, out of all the songs you guys have released, each one of you, what is the favorite song to play at practice or live? Like, what's your favorite song you guys release? <sighs> Haha. <laughs> question to ask me dude no nah, because i know you got so many that's why i'm asking it yeah. it's uh demon slayer myself definitely demon slayer i i like demon slayer a lot it just flows well it's a great song in my opinion uh i'd probably say saturate granted we don't really play it but you know. <laughs> why are you laughing at that over there brandon one it's because my name is also brandon won. by the way so there's technically brandon three three brandons like. here yeah, we got three. <laughs> Brandon one, Brandon two, Brandon three. Got it. Brandon one. Why'd you laugh at that? Yeah, we can we, literally uh, form like Megazord right now. <laughs> because we, we, uh, <laughs> we have an ongoing inside joke in the band about Barry's jacket that he wore in that music video that was tragically stolen. So <gasps> we can't play that song ever again without that jacket. Oh, no. Who stole it? Your jacket yeah. got stolen? Yeah, I was at work one day and then... You know, I had to go answer a call, and I come back, and I'm just like, yo, where's my jacket? My Mary, I'm in New it. York, bro. I'm about to team up and go find that shit with you. Let's go. <laughs> Who's got the jacket? Put some flyers. <laughs> Have you seen this jacket? <laughs> like, can't play shows until it's found. So. <laughs> do you guys Do you guys ever work in any of the old, old material, but have Christian do it, like, as his, how he would do it, or just strictly all the new stuff? Here, uh... We actually did nothing but stuff off of Conservation of the Spirit, I believe. And we did one other album, right, Barry? What what album was uh, that? I think it was Aging of the Weary. I think we might have did one or maybe two songs off of it, but yeah. I, I guess we to do And there's two videos that. on YouTube. I've got, I got one on my channel of a live video of us playing that stuff. So you can definitely find it if you were interested in seeing it. I am interested to in go back over and it would be nice, right? Would, if we I went would, over like Aching the Weary or Conservation of the Spirit as we are now, I think it, it could be definitely an interesting thing. I was thinking about that. I was talking because my girlfriend likes some of the older songs too, and I was like, we should definitely take these songs and remaster them like <laughs> in the way we yeah, would. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Who's the dad yeah. of the group? The dad of the group? Yep, Barry. there's always a dad. Yeah, Barry. Barry's a dad. Barry's dad. <laughs> Actually, somebody thought Brandon was my dad on Facebook. A coworker of mine was like, "Yo, is your dad playing guitar with you?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Leave my handsome bearded friend alone. They're just hating, bro. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> hey, mine. I, I grow it as big as you, bro. I'm jealous right now. I had to keep mine down. I have a little bald spot right here, so I could never grow a beard. I don't know why. Yeah. A little teeny you bald. Just gotta, man. You just gotta reach my level of laziness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? That's usually what it is. You're too motivated. Honestly, it's about five years of growth. That's what I got. Five years of growth. There you go. <laughs> All right, what are the plans for the next year? What are you hoping to accomplish? Where do you want to be? Hit me. Uh, me personally, yep. I feel like we're about to hit the regional level. So mm -hmm. Big time. Year, either be at the regional or surpass that. Um, put out a crap ton of music videos and continue playing, you know, instead of having like a semi tour, maybe have a, a full length tour, if that's possible, you know. It's possible, buddy. Yeah, please, no. please come to California. I'll, I'll bring as many people as I can fit in a stretch Hummer to the show. <laughs> Absolutely, we will get we will get casually super faded right before the show, so we have a blast. Um, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. We'll keep it classy though. Uh, got Lloyd. You got any any final questions for him so we can let them do whatever do they got to do? We got time. Do? Or are we running out? No, we got, we got time. I just don't. I just want to keep everybody up for. Something anyway. What is ever? I mean, I kind of asked something similar. So I'm, I like to learn more about you. What is your favorite song currently, right now? Not like of all time, but what's something you're bumping a lot more than usual? Each oh, one of you. What you're jamming on the side. Yeah. Your favorite cut right now on the side. Yeah. Could be Little Wayne. Could be anything. Say that, but um, that one song, it's either "To the Hellfire" by Lorna Shore because that song is Ooh. insane, mm. or uh, "Papa Young." Baba Yaga by Sonic and the Veil. That song is okay. nuts, too. Uh, or there's a new song that came out with the guy from uh, Novelist, PR or, or FR or something like that, and a different band. It's called Boy by 1056. I haven't heard that. I, know, I heard it in the gym, and I almost threw a weight through the glass. Like, yeah! <laughs> like, that, I that like and when I, I heard Corpus Christi, so I'm with you. That sounds cool. Uh, Christian, what about yourself? Um, right now, I'm going to shout out a local band as Lions and Lambs. I'd have to say uh, Hate Speech, no doubt. Hate I Speech by Lions and Lambs. It's, it's, it's a great song. If you haven't heard it, check it out. The breakdown at the end is wild. Uh, Matt, his vocals are super crazy. Very incredible. It's a He's actually a fellow Christian deathcore band. Sweet. So it's, it's they're they're wild. I would say that they they definitely top us, for sure. Hmm. Oh, no return because you're on that song. No, no return. No return is another song. That's a great song. <laughs> I know you hate the nickname, but Brandon too. Uh, I don't hate it, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it's just a regalia by Frank Zappa. Woo! That's yeah. That's, Wait, yeah. I, I did you say Frank Zappa? Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Damn, I did not expect that. Okay, I love Frank Zappa. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Barry. Oh, man. <laughs> I've been right. thinking the whole time you guys were saying stuff. I can't think of anything. I'd probably just say NF for right now, his, whole, his newest album, Clouds. Dude, I was told I looked like NF. You do have, like, a similar body build as him. You're, you do got that. Like, NF and probably... Veil of Maya. I don't know why. I just started listening to them hard like this week for cool. some reason. I'm just like, all right. All right. You guys are pretty good. I don't know why I slept on you for so long. Oh, and God. the zombie EP. Zombie 2. I've been listening to that hard. Oh, yeah. The zombie EP 2. I completely forgot about that. Oh, the zombie EP 2? Yeah. I, I've been jamming that for a good long while. I'm like, I still have mixed feelings about it, but I still listen to it. It's got to be good if you've been jamming for a while. It's got to be good. Yeah, it is good. I'm just like... I I love the original Zombie album. The Zombie EP. Or, yeah, mm -hmm. EP. Yeah, it's just... It's oh, totally I, I'm totally was drawing a blank. You're talking about Prada? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was, I was totally drawing a blank the whole time. I'm like, the. I'm trying to think of a... I thought the band was called the Zombie P2. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Sort yourself and out, And I'm like, bud. don't look stupid. Don't look stupid. Don't look stupid.
Stupid. All right. I got uh, one more. I'll ask one more fun one. If I was gonna, if I saw one of you guys at a bar and I wanted to buy you a drink and try to hit on you, what drink am I buying you? Water. White Claw. I saw White Claw. Water for Barry. Copy. But you do see White Claw. Generally, though, if you want to get to my car, Voodoo Ranger or any kind of IPA, definitely, definitely an IPA. <laughs> cool. I, I love that uh, energy. Newcastle Brown. Nice. Newcastle. Yeah, definitely. Now I know how to get them all. All right. <laughs> that's all the questions I got. Sounds I, good. That's all the questions I got. Guys, please, 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 once again, go to at Diamonds to Dust One on Facebook and uh, like their page, follow them, check them out. They have a lot of music uh, spanning all kinds of different styles, but you're really going to want to focus in on the new stuff with Christian. They're at a Poughkeepsie, New York. <laughs> lo I love saying it. Teach him how to say that, please. Is that not how you say it? Poughkeepsie. I've been saying it wrong for years. You can't po? even say Albany. It's okay. So it's like it. dough with a P. So it's dough with a P. Po. But oh, it's, not, it's not keep. It's not keep. Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie. Sorry. I butchered it multiple times. <laughs> you, guys, you guys were a lot of fun, man. Thanks thanks for doing this. Uh, po town, baby. Po town. <laughs> we, we, uh, we're we're going to play you guys as much as we can in the future we're, we're only going to be supporting you guys we're excited to hear some of the new stuff um we're excited about vocals on friday and uh, hopefully all that goes well I'm barry gonna drive down brandon and just go brandon and, and christian over sounds good come through you guys are awesome <laughs> thank you for taking some time out of your day to do this no problem thank you guys for having us we really appreciate it uh, it really means a lot it's more Absolutely. of an honor for us. You guys you're, are you're more than welcome all to all to jump in to the streams if you ever want to just poke your head in and just just to say what's up or just be like, hey, I got a brand new song I brought you. Whatever we will totally yeah, do. Yeah, Barry, all the we... bands you need to sign are probably on that show, bro. I'm telling you, you can build your whole label right off of them. <laughs> once, I get, once I get my money back up and I can reopen, definitely. We'll send some your way. Bye, Barry, bro. Burn like started to sign to Barry, bro. I'm getting work and go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for doing this. All right, Thank you so much. Guys. Cheers. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. You as well.